Okay, thank you so much for that last talk, very informative. Um, we wanted to segue quickly and give everyone attending a little insight as to what's new here at Mettler Toledo. And so we're going to give you a quick update before we go on to our next talk. Today I'm going to introduce you the all-new React Ramen 785 from Mettler Toledo. Ramen is a complementary technique to FTIR, but allows the user to look at things from a different perspective. Ramen has the ability to look at vibrational information that may be difficult to see with FTIR. It is often stated that FTIR is very good at obtaining molecular group information and Raman good at looking at backbone information, for example in polymerization. FTIR may be good at looking at change in the functional group, but Raman would have better insight into how the backbone may be growing or changing. When speaking with our customers, we knew we would need to offer a few key features to ensure that Raman was easily integrated into their workflow. The instrument needed to be portable. Raman is a tool that can be used in many different laboratories and our customers will be moving it from place to place, so a portable size was a must. Raman excels at analyzing reactions that have solids and solutions, things like slurry, suspensions, or crystallization reactions, and we needed a probe that would be successful in these types of reactions, and we are happy to offer the ball probe. This probe has been designed to keep probe tips clean from contamination and to ensure the user is analyzing the real sample of interest. The React Raman also comes standard with the exclusive IC Raman 7 software. This software offers the same reaction analysis features as our FTIR, fe as our FTIR software, things like uh, one-click analytics that help you get expert results without the need of being an expert. The study of polymorphs has quite an important role in high-value chemical development as it's necessary to understand the effectiveness of the chemical entity. In the case of polymorph change in a reaction, the key is to understand how and why such changes occur. The use of in-situ Raman is one of a number of techniques used to study polymorphs crystallization. By using in-situ technique, you're able to follow instantaneous form changes without the loss of data that can occur with offline techniques. This allows the user to understand the kinetics, uh, influence of reaction variables, endpoint, and gain an understanding about the kinetics and the reaction mechanism. This is one example of how to understand form change in real time by using React Raman. This example is the crystallization step of a multi-step synthesis for a new drug product. Through the use of in situ React Raman, unique Raman bands can be assigned to each the metastable and the stable forms of the product that were measured as a function of time. And here we can see in the top left corner, we see differences in the spectral characteristics between the metastable and the stable forms. In the middle feature, we see that these forms can be tracked over time and especially notice a change. The last feature, or the, the image on the right, is a trend over time of these changes in features. By using this, we were able to show that a conversion time occurred relatively quickly within 30 minutes, which is a much shorter time period than was expected originally. Okay. Um, so, you know, we, we just wanted to show you, a, a, a give you a brief introduction of the new React Raman 785, show you some of the new features and some of the ways that it's being used uh, to monitor crystallization and polymorph changes. Um, uh, very happy to field any questions, and as always, please contact Mettler Toledo for any further information. Thanks.